Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am playing Way Down Deeps and Inverse Realities, The Stars Between Us. Now this is a game that's been in development for quite a long time, to be honest. I, I first played this at PAX a while ago, I think two years ago. Uh, I saw it at the Seattle Indies Expo this past year. I'm going to play a new game. So, you spin the planets, and you get kind of like a matching game. So you need to, you need to match three items, so if we move this over, that matches, of course. Those match, those match. I can do that, make those match. And again, we can turn everything. There we go. So, it's a bit of a matching game. It doesn't really need two controllers. Uh, the, the first time I played this game was actually on the Oculus Go. So, I'm not really sure why you need two controllers, but I'm cool with that. So, we're gonna... We're looking for one of each of these. It's lonely here. I need a pen pal. Okay. So, we've got that. That. Uh, I want a bottle. The other bottles we can move. Not yet, but there's some more ink blots up here. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of some hearts. Pages. And then we just need bottles. We've got bottles right there. That finishes that level. And so, it's fairly simplistic. It's a puzzle game. It's a match three title. Um, but there's also a story as, as we continue on. So it says you've unlocked the unicorn match four charms in a row to make your new bobble and drag it to clear a row or a column. Okay. So we're going to continue. But what you're going to see is as we continue the game, he's going to send out this letter to his new pen pal and there's a story that it, it, it evolves as as you're playing so there's there's a development of well maybe, maybe there's a friendship being spurred but you know for people that played puzzle games like bejeweled or Candy Crush or, or other games like that. This is a nice show arcade casual title. And again, you know, match three games. Made a unicorn. Let's drag it and see what happens. Okay, so we'll do that. And it just broke four of those. A much lower score this time than the last few rounds. Let's see if we even hit three stars. We do. Awesome. And also, like I said, a game that is likely playable on multiple platforms. I was looking through my Rift library, though, and saw this was available, so I figured I would go ahead and check it out um, on the Rift S. Now, here goes the letter to the pen pal, of course. Nobody could reach me. And a beautiful song playing as well. And these scenes, like this right here, is why this game really works in VR. If you're just playing the game standard, rotating a planet, you don't really need this type of atmosphere. But scenes like this, this is just beautiful. Uh, seeing kind of like the planets and, and the starscape and the universe around it is makes it more artistic and more like you're immersed in an art project as opposed to just playing a match three game. Someone old you even 
trying to figure out what to do. Oh, I see. He can just switch hands. That's that's all the uh, globe is for. Is if you tr hold the trigger down, it switches hands for the wand. So you don't really need two hands, and and, and that makes sense to me. We're gonna go ahead and skip the rest of the song. Beautiful song, beautiful atmosphere there, but let's see what happens when we get to this other planet. Oh no. So we're missing 15 letters. Matching four makes a unicorn as we had before. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but we have a different character and a different planet that we're on. Um, now we're kind of like a postman. Get rid of that row. And let's get rid of this row. We're done with the, the letters that we're missing. So you're kind of in a postman uh, with with a letter in the bottle on the top, of course. We've unlocked the ice cream cup. Okay. Only got one star for that one. Did a pretty bad job, it seems, but that's okay. All right, hard to look ahead with all these dark clouds on the horizon. Keep collecting charms, and we'll brighten up these skies in no time. Alright. So now we're going to see what kind of combos we can make. So we've still got three right there. Do those. And optimally, we want to try to match to get rid of these clouds. So let's... for a cone effect. Let's try it. Oh, that's pretty cool. That killed a bunch of stuff, actually. So we've got three clouds left, though. We need to figure out a way to mitigate. So we've got this here. Get rid of that. That gets rid of that. That gets rid of that. And that gets rid of that one. So that gets rid of all the clouds. And as you can see, very much a, a, a different dimension, a different spin on Bejeweled style match three games. Um, I want to get to the next part of the story. So how do we, how did these balloons get up there? This must be what knocked my letters loose. So that makes sense. And of course, you've now got a letter in a bottle. So this, this matching takes a little bit more skill. There's 23 clouds to break also. We've got all the letters we need, we just need to break the clouds at this point.
four clouds left. clouds left. <clears throat> I'll get rid of two. And I'll get rid of the last one. Got no bonus, so we only get one star. And we've unlocked the umbrella. If we match them in a P shape, you get a new bobble and drag it to clear the rip. Next part of the story here. A love note in a bottle. Adorable. Oh no, it doesn't have proper postage. further in the story, got two stars. It is usually junk in the mail. So the postal worker is inspired now to deliver the letter. to be able to move that one right now, but I can't yet. Let's do this. That'll clear a whole row. This will clear a whole row now. Get rid of those. Get rid of three right there. Close those out. That gets rid of the rest. We're good. We should get a bonus on this one, because we finished it pretty quickly. We got 3,000 bonus on that one. Still only one star, but that's totally fine. We're not going for stars on this. We're going for storyline.
I never thought about interstellar postal work. I, I play Elite Dangerous a lot. Um, and, you know, some of that is cargo hauling. Gloomy purple clouds are taking my mail. Oh, there is a gloomy purple cloud. get rid of the clouds? I hope so. Oh no, it just moved the clouds. That's kind of scary. Just need one more. There we go. Got the last letter. But that's, that's a challenge there, adding those purple clouds. Did pretty well that time. Maybe we'll get three stars. We might. Only two. Okay. But we've unlocked the pinwheel, which is when you have a T shape, you can clear a 5x5 five five area. Alright. So we're at another planet here. Tons of love I've delivered in my career. None to his address. Oh, that's unfortunate. I like having an interwoven story, even though it's just a match three title. That's what really drove me to come back to this one. Um, playing it at PAX and playing it at Seattle Indies Expo. That's what really made me think, hey, you know, this doesn't, it's not necessarily the best use of VR until I got to that cutscene, of course. And then I realized even just the rotational aspect. Makes it a fun game. Not necessarily the best VR title, but I really like the story. Uh, and that's what keeps me coming back to games like this. So as you can see, it's divided in two because of the ring. I can't move that one. cloud here we need to clear. That clears the cloud. And there's a letter. Wow, there's a lot of clouds on this one. So this one might take a little while. I mean, I understand your dedication to the postal service. You got a cool postal truck. Ah. That was kind of sad. I hope he finds love one day. are very effective. They clear 5x5 five five area, so pretty good real estate to clear when you're doing a puzzle game like this. Let's go that way. Clear that one. This will clear Oh, it doesn't clear that one. Okay. Well, that's okay. We'll 
get to it. Sort of one, and we've got just this one cloud left. Clear that. And there it is! An umbrella as well. Continue. I think we'll do three more levels and then we'll call it a day. So this time we've got fifteen hourglass and fifteen. As you can see, we've only got 14 hourglass left because we have to finish this in 15 moves. Thankfully, you've got things like this, which we can then use to clear the letters. well on that level. That's probably going to get us three stars. I would hope so. Now, incidentally, I haven't played the game enough to know what three stars actually means. I don't know if it unlocks something later or not. So we've got the paint palette. So if we get five charms online, you get a new bobble. You can clear all the charms of that adjacent color. If that makes sense. We'll do two more levels before we call it a night. This one's tricky because of the trees. I need to find a way to break that whole row to solve for that. So we need to break break all of those. That cleared the one that was in the tree. That'll clear that. Uh, let's move that up just for fun. got just two clouds left. This one here is very easy to get. The other one's going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but I think we're up for it. Let's do this first. Boom. So we got three stars. I think that deserves another go here. Let's see what happens on this next planet. Sorry, dude. So as you can see, there's some new baubles here. 
the bells. And in case you couldn't tell, this is kind of still tutorial. Like we're we're at a spot in the game where yes, we're clearing these items and things of that nature, but it's it's also still very early on. You're still learning different power moves and things of that nature as you go. Still the level, the early levels of Candy Crush, if you will. Four clouds left. Let's see, I think they're all in this spot right here. Convenient, that is. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna see what the story says. I know we're only, yeah, we just got one star there. We'll see what the story says on this next one. I think we'll hit the X and go to the map and see what we've unlocked so far and see how much is left because this could be a super deep game or it could be super simple at this point. Oh, he's gonna send a letter to his lost love. Awesome. Oh, at least he's inspired by it. I'm glad that the message in a bottle gave him that. And it looks like I don't really know how to exit the level right now. There we go. Let's go out to the map and let's just take a look at what we've unlocked so far. Uh, it looks like there are 30 levels total here. We're at level 15, so we're just halfway through the game. Um, I don't know if it goes beyond 30, to be honest. Probably does not, because um, this is a, a small game from a small team. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed this extended look at The Stars Between Us. Like I said, I played this a little bit, uh, but only in small five to 10 minute demo situations. So being able to sit back and play a chill game like this in VR is a lot of fun. I do believe this is available on the Gear VR and Oculus Go and other platforms beyond just the Rift platform. So if you've got one of those three off controller headsets, obviously you don't have to tilt around or move or have a lot of movement to, to play it. I think it's a ton of fun. I think it's a beautiful game with a beautiful story. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll be back with more VR content soon. Please remember, VR is my 2020 vision. So I will be continuing to showcase whether it's an indie title, a blockbuster title, or just something I find fun or beautiful on my channel throughout this year. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you.